guys, Tyler Horvath here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install plugins on WordPress. So if you watch our last video, um, we showed you how to install WordPress on cPanel. So we have our site um, installed with, with WordPress here, and let's look at how to install our first plugin. So when you're in your WP admin area, um, go to the left sidebar here and click plugins. And this is where you'll see all the plugins that are installed on your site. So uh, plugins are basically uh, these little uh, software applications that you can put on WordPress to extend the, the functionality and you know do a number of things that can help um, you know increase the functionality of your website. For example, you can install a contact form plugin and easily put contact forms on your website, or you can install uh, WooCommerce, which is the e-commerce uh, software plugin, and that will enable you to set up e-commerce store on your WordPress site. So installing plugins is super simple in WordPress. Um, you can just simply go to this plugins tab and click add new. And then now you can just search for whatever plugin you know you're looking for, um, and this um, this plugin database here pulls from the WordPress database of all their plugins. I think they have you know over 25,000 plugins that you can use. Um, you know this this default page here will kind of show you some of the most uh, popular used uh, plugins. So you know Classic Editor is one of the first things I install because I am not a fan of the new Gutenberg post. So uh, the new Gutenberg layout um, looks like this, and it's kind of more of a block editor. Um, and it's a little bit more hard to navigate than the previous uh, WYSIWYG editor, especially if you've been using WordPress for a long time like I have. Uh, so one of the first things I do is install the classic editor. So to install a plugin, all you have to do is click this Install Now button, and that will quickly install it. And then next, you'll have to activate that plugin. And once you click Activate, it will bring you to your Plugins um, Manager here where you can see all your plugins, and you'll see that it is active in blue and you can deactivate it by clicking deactivate or you can click settings to go to the settings of that plugin. So now that we've installed that plugin, we should be able to go to these posts and reload it and it should be the old normal post. So now we can see it's the normal um, WordPress WYSIWYG editor and we can you know, add text and do all that sort of stuff. So that's basically how um, you install a plugin. It's pretty simple. Um, now, if you're looking to find another plugin, all you have to do here is search. So let's look for uh, Yoast SEO. And then that will pull up, and you can click Install Now and Activate. And that is how you install the plugin. Now, you can also upload plugins. So let's say you, you buy a plugin from a third party source or somewhere online, and, or even making your own plugin, and you want to install it. So you're going to have to upload it to the site. So to in, to install a plugin via the uploader, you're going to click Add New, and then you're going to click Upload a Plugin. And now you're basically just going to choose a file. You're going to go to the zipped plugin file. So um, in order to install a plugin, it has to be zipped and it has to be um, you know built in the right way. Uh, but if you download a plugin from a third-party source, it should already be zipped and ready to go. Just basically click Choose File. Um, find the file or the plugin zip, and then click Install Now, and it's pretty simple it will install it that way as well. Now there is also a third way that you can install plugins that's a little more difficult and not really recommended. You don't really need to do it anymore. Um, this is how you used to be able to install or you used to uh, install plugins with WordPress is manually with FTP. So um, you take that same zip file of the plugin, you unzip it and you upload that entire file folder to your plugins folder in WordPress and then you can just go to your plugins page and it will show up there where you can activate it. So that is the three ways that you can install a plugin on WordPress. Um, I hope that this video helps you learn how to easily install plugins on WordPress. Uh, in the next video, we'll check out how to install themes and set those up on your WordPress site. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.